In this video, I wanted to take a look at the really awesome bogus C1 Pro electric scooter that has a very powerful 600 watts motor, up to 45 km per hour speed, an effective suspension system and more. At the time of this video, the scooter costs less than 440 British pounds. Check out the video description for the latest prices and discount codes if you're interested. The bogus C1 Pro comes in quite a huge and heavy box when it is packed really well with plenty of padding and it arrived without any scratches or any other damage. Inside the box you get a set of tools, a charging brick, a phone mount, a mechanical bell and some paperwork. Bogus C1 Pro is not your everyday scooter because it is big, it is bulky and it's built like a tank. The device weighs over 23 kilos, which means that you can still carry it with you, but it is heavy and there are quite a few reasons for that. First, the scooter is made almost entirely out of metal and the build quality is very good. One of the highlights, you can fold and unfold the scooter in just a moment and start using it. All of this is done by unlocking the safety latch and pressing this lock button. You can also adjust the height of the handlebar post so you can ride comfortably. I mostly use the device with a supplied very soft and comfortable seat which even has its own suspension system. Some may say it is not safe to sit while riding at the maximum speed but it was okay for me. You can also adjust the height of the seat. If you don't want to use the seat, simply take it off in just a few moments and bend the seat post if you plan to quickly attach it back. If you wish so, you can completely take the seat post off by unscrewing the bolts. The scooter is IP65 certified, meaning that it is not afraid of water splashes. I used it in the rain for some time and the device works as new. The scooter has big 10-inch tires which are said to be puncture resistant and there is shock absorption on each wheel. While I didn't try to puncture the tires, this combination assures a very soft riding experience as the suspension absorbs most of the bumps and shakes and a soft and cushy seat is pleasant to sit on. I'll talk about more about riding experience in just a bit. I found brakes to be very efficient too. In fact, the front wheel uses the anti-lock ABS electronic brake system while the rear wheel has a large disc brake. The bike computer shows the basic information like speed, distance traveled and it allows you to choose from three power modes, eco, medium and high. Obviously, I use the scooter mostly on the high setting for the best performance. You can navigate through this simple menu by clicking the button. The supplied phone mount is a little bit plasticky but it holds the phone nicely. The thumb accelerator is responsive and reasonably sensitive. The company used a mechanical bell which is a little bit odd as I usually prefer the electronic ones. On the other hand, this old school bell still does the job. For riding at night, there is a very powerful front light which can be turned on by double pressing the by key. There is also a rear light that stays solid when turned on and starts blinking when you hit the brakes. I believe this is such an important safety feature that is still missing on most of the e-bikes I've tested. Now let's talk about the riding experience. If you have ridden just an ordinary street e-scooter before, you'll be amazed by the power of the 600 watts motor and quite impressive uphill climbing capabilities. It seems that the scooter always has enough power no matter the terrain and the incline you're riding on. Also, 45 km per hour top speed may be a little bit scary at first, but once you get used to it, you may not want to ride slower. Keep in mind that in this video, we use the scooter at just about 25 km per hour for filming and safety purposes. The rubber handlebars are quite comfortable and they do not irritate my palms. As I've mentioned before, fat tires along with a dual suspension system works really well in practice. If you add a comfy seat, the riding experience is soft and pleasant. Also, the combination of the ABS system and the anti-skid tires works really well even on slippery roads. When I hit the brakes, the scooter stopped fast without starting to skid. Once you want to stop and park the scooter, the kickstand is solid and it gives me peace of mind that the vehicle won't fall down. Overall, it is a pleasure to ride this scooter. It doesn't make any squeaking sounds, it's got power, speed and comfort. The C1 Pro has a 13 amp hours and 48 volts battery which during my test performed quite well. 
The manufacturer claims a max travel range of up to 40 or 45 kilometers, but I would say that you should expect to get about 35 kilometers if you mostly ride it at a maximum speed and there is some incline. It's still a great result though. It takes about 7 hours to fully charge the battery, which is quite slow and it means that it is best to charge it overnight. In conclusion, Bogist C1 Pro is an awesome electric scooter that has a ton of power, it is fast and super comfortable to ride. It may be a little bit bulky and heavy, but that may be the only shortcoming worth mentioning, but obviously the size can be reduced by folding the scooter in just a few seconds. If you add near excellent build quality, great brake system, easy to use computer and powerful lights, you are looking at a really nice e-scooter that I've enjoyed using for the past couple of months and I can easily recommend it, especially considering the price. What do you think about this e-scooter? Would you buy this one or would you choose another option? As always, like the video if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always, it was Linus, thank you for watching and see you soon.